What is up, Site 42 staff? This is Dr. Theron Sherman reporting live from GDC 2024. Let me show you the chaos that is happening out here. Game developers from all across the world are here showing their wares and meeting up with people and lots of business cards being traded everywhere. Business cards everywhere, stacks of them, pockets full of business cards. So I am here reporting as the SCP Foundation's liaison with Afre Interactive. Afre Interactive is of course working on the upcoming game SCP-5K. If you haven't checked it out, early access is on Steam right now. I think it's early access, don't quote me on that. But SCP-5K is over on Steam. I'm also consulting with them on a future SCP game and other multimedia projects. And so while I am surprisingly off from my cover job as a ballroom dance instructor because the studio is being painted, I decided to come join up them up here at the convention because they're all in town meeting. They're meeting together for the first time. And so now they're meeting me in case you haven't seen here. Hey, nobody. Good to see you. And thanks you for being a member. Welcome to beautiful San Francisco where the game developer conference is underway. We are in day four right now. If you can look up Pat McAfee's WWE theme, the title seems a bit suspicious. Well, luck of an ace, I, first of all, thank you for your dono. Make sure to grab yourself some latkes on your way past the commissary. Currently, uh, because I am out in the field, I don't even have my iPad to be checking up on what you're talking about. So that is something I will have to look up later. But in the meantime, uh, this has been a blast at GDC. We have met and talked to all sorts of game developers. A lot of people have noticed the SCP logo on our clothing and will therefore just come up and strike up a conversation because, you know, SCP is dope. Everyone likes SCP. And in a realm of video game nerds uh, like this, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of an overrepresentation of SCP fandom. So we've been getting recognized a lot. People have been interested in the game, in the team. I've been uh, doing some slight marketing work here and there, uh, influencer liaison business. SCP-049, I see you in the chat. Stay away from the gender switching stone. Luck of an ace, it's called the Anomaly. Okay, WWE, Pat McAfee, the Anomaly. WWE, Pat McAfee, the Anomaly. Remember, remember, I'll remember to take my Nestics after we do this. Speaking of Nestics, did y'all see, did y'all see the poster for There Is No Anti-Memetics Division? I shared it on Twitter. I shared it in the community tab. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see it because I've been talking to this guy, Andrea Joshua Aznikar, for the last couple of months and he is adapting Quantum's There Is No Anti-Memetics Division, or at least the first part of it, into a four-part miniseries. And I got to preview it and guys, it's so good. The hype is real. On Site42, starting next Saturday, that's Saturday the 28th, I believe it is, we're gonna be doing reaction videos of all of the episodes. So each week, he's releasing an episode on Friday on his YouTube channel. Andrea Joshua Aznikar is the name of the YouTube channel, so go sub, make sure you check it out. But then on Saturday, we'll be reminding people of the episode drops by releasing reaction videos. So you'll be able to watch it on Friday, and then see the SCP Site42 reaction to the episodes on my end on Saturdays. So keep that in mind, Fridays and Saturdays starting not tomorrow, but next weekend. Keep an eye on that. Dr. Davis, nah, Sherman is way older. He just sacrifices goats to cod so he stays young totally. Listen, uh, first of all, thank you for being a member. As always, green names make it easier for me to see you in the chat as well as Super Chats. Uh, same for you, Ansan. Thank you for being a member. And, of course, uh, yes, I'm not going to reveal my age or what sort of deals with what sort of devils or deities, devils or deities, I might add, that I have done to preserve my youthful good looks. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Scrolling back to the bottom of the chat. 
whoa, I do not care your feelings about SCP-401. You are not allowed to smash it because if you destroy an anomaly, we can't research it. So no, you cannot smash it. You cannot pulverize it. You cannot do anything that would destroy the anomaly. My word. Doc Sherman, have you seen the SCP Foundation Universe video on YouTube? Well, Dupless, first of all, thank you for the dono. Go get yourself a donut on your way past the commissary. And I don't think I have. Uh, what channel did this video? I would love to check it out. Amber, good to see you in the chat. And as always, thank you for being a member. Still waiting to see if I can get more info on Dupless's SCP Foundation Universe video. While I'm waiting for that, I'll show you guys the crowd again. All of these people make all of your favorite video games. Very cool stuff. I've met some very awesome people here. And of course, I've turned them on to making SCP content myself because what else am I gonna do except drag more artistic professionals into the community? That way we get more games and films. The more people we suck in, the more teamwork we get. Ansan, I don't think they mean that smash. I don't know what you mean. Uh, that's, I don't understand the slang term that you're using. Dr. Davis, working on a few key card props right now. So glad I could be here for the stream though. Oh, fabulous. I'm glad to be the background to some SCP artistic works. That's pretty dope. Tab Tab, what is your, uh, what is Dr. Sherman's opinion on corn of the foundation, not SCPs? Well, that is objectifying and sexually harassing SCP Foundation staff. HR will have to have a word with whoever's putting that out. It's not okay, it's not okay, it's not okay. Completely unprofessional. Do -do 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 -do. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Tiny G Man. Sherman, he means, you know, fraternizing with the anomaly. You know how I feel about that. You know how completely opposed I am to fraternizing with the anomalies. If only we could stop fire hiring so many monster fuckers, but they're the only people who take the job. Scrolling to the bottom. So far, I've seen it claim that while I am out, it, the comments are saying that the chaos insurgency has invaded Site-42, that SCP-049 has inv overtaken Site-42. I think you're all just trying to cry wolf and get me back to the site. And you know what? I requisitioned this trip. I have made my plans in triplicate well in advance. So no, 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 no. Ansan, I'm actively working on getting all my friends on the whole SCP community and onto your channel. I am winning. That's what heroes do. Fabulous. Dr. Davis, I've got a fursuit. Should I join the MTF furry unit? Well, we always need more people for the mobile task furries. So I believe that would be a wise and noble role for you to intercede. By the way, Site 42 staff, I don't mean to alert you, but right now we have 62 likes and 276 viewers. So hit that like button. Let's make sure that our likes outpace our viewer count. That's how we like it around here. I believe in you. Scrolling, scrolling. MHA fan, can I have a shout out? There it is, you have been shouted out. Thank you for watching the stream. Pepper Chris, good to see you. Thank you for being a member and for your dono. Dr. Sherman gonna give 049 D class, he's behaving. Well, I don't know. 049 is claiming that it has taken over the site, which doesn't seem like good behavior. I think it requires punishment, not uh, enrichment. Ooh, 
Wait, are you outside of a dollar store? If so, what kind of SCPs are there? Bagel Ice Animation, I am not outside of a dollar store. I am outside of a redacted because they're not sponsors, so we're not giving them any hype. But I am currently outside of what is the Yerba Buena Community Park in beautiful San Francisco. Check out that skyline. And this park is filled to the gills with GDC convention goers who are currently outside getting some fresh air. I'm not gonna joke for the first time in their lives because that would be too low hanging a fruit. Okay, Wadi, how do I introduce someone to SCP without them thinking it's a cult? All you need to say is the simple paragraph. It fits in a comments character limit, so you know it's good. All you have to say is, the SCP Foundation is a creative writing community and fandom focused on a secret organization that hides magic and monsters from the general public, just like the Men in Black and the X-Files. So there you go. Once people hear that, they go, oh, that sounds pretty dope. And they're right, it is pretty dope. Bagel Ice Animation liked the stream. That's what heroes do. Orion Skittles. Mobile Task Furries. Hell yeah, where can I join? Well, first thing you'll want to do is you'll re want to read the documentation on SCP-3312. SCP-3312, titled, Oh, Whoa, What's This? is going to be the article, the first in the series. And then the tale, Mobile Task Furries, is when they what's the phrase I'm looking for, is when they take down the person who invented that anomaly. I just saw a super chat fly away from me. Give me a second. Gotta find it. Where'd it go? Let me switch to super chat only comment view. No, I'm not a spy. I'm a researcher. It's different. Leaf, what's your favorite SCP or tail? Mine is 529. Is 529 Josie the half cat? I believe uh, Josie is the answer to that number. And if that is the case, I just want you to know that the people I'm here with, Afray Interactive, they're actually working on a Josie the half cat game. I know, right? Uh, they're working on SCP 5K, as I told you about, but they are also there's also this adorable. Josie the Half Cat game, you gotta look it up. The art of it is so gosh darn adorable. You guys are gonna love what you see when you see it. Your local Eevee, you should draw Josie the Half Cat on your marker board. That is what you should draw there. Your answer has been answered. Oh, and one more thing to uh, Leaf, besides thanking you for your dono and asking you to go get a lollipop on your way past the commissary. Uh, my favorite SCPs are always said at the end of the stream, and that means that in approximately 30 to 40 minutes, I will tell you, because we always save that for the end of the stream. Sir, have you made the tree scream yet? As I have to unfortunately answer on every stream, no, the tree has not screamed. Yes, it is frustrating. Yes, we will continue to test until we succeed. No, anybody who says they made the tree scream in the chat is not either talking about the right tree or they're from another universe and that doesn't count. We're not talking about parallel universes. There's one SCP-4521. It will scream. Don't worry about it. Dr. Seraph, you keep talking about this SCP you're not gonna write, uh, although you want it to be its own gender, I guess that's fine. No one's asking it if it wants to change its gender. You have to request that and go through several rounds of Psyche Val and set, submit your permission slips in triplicate, and then it's part of the Foundation Medical Plan. But if you don't do that, they have nothing to worry about, so that's a weird thing for you to bring up. Ensign. Guess what, Doc? Your favorite French researcher, 
made O49 cry by insulting him in French. You gotta buy me Twixes. Dr. Jen, I doubt that your vicious mockery, well, I don't know. As a bard, I believe in the power of vicious mockery, so maybe, maybe I have to believe your far-fetched claim. Ugh. I'll go get some Twitch Twixes from the redacted store behind me. Dr. Davis T, you need to stop sacrificing goats to cod. They don't need those. We swore off goat sacrifices ages ago. After the gods updated their shopping list, we have been well informed on what to keep track of. We're not going to make that same mistake that previous civilizations did. You gotta change with the times. Sabella Nicosi, we are currently doing a live check-in from GDC, the Game Developer Conference. We are hanging out watching over the balcony as all of these game developers, little do they know that the SCP Foundation is monitoring them. Is the Death Note an SCP? You know, I think we did. And if, if, SC, if the Death Note was an SCP, but if it, mm, the Death Note is not an SCP, but if it was, how would the Foundation contain it? I believe we made that episode. If we didn't make a full episode on the Site42 YouTube, we did do so on uh, shorts for TikTok. So go search that episode up because it's probably a good one. Kai just exists, a big Undertale nerd. Thank you for your fifth dono to the Site42 coffers. Make sure to grab yourself multiple hot dogs that you can stack on your head while you're at the commissary. Would Sans be considered an SCP or any of the other Undertale characters? Doctor Cosmic nerding out on Undertale. So, monsters are definitely anomalous, at least in our world. Now, if the monsters existed in that world, they don't seem as anomalous, but if they were in our world, then they would be, and we would have containment procedures for them. Now, obviously, in Undertale, they did a good job. They locked him in a cave. That is very well contained. The Foundation approves. Uh, we also have a What If Sans from Undertale was an SCP as a containment video. So you can go check that out as well. Prepper Chris, Dr. Sherman Ethics Committee wants to talk to me. Well, you better answer because they are scary mofos. Whatever you did, probably shouldn't have. Tem, hello. Thank you for being a member as well as using our wonderful SCP-999 member emoji. O52, get back to work, Garamet. Well, I don't have to listen to you, O52, because you're not my supervisor. The O5 who put me out here supersedes you. So, suck it. Are you sure that you haven't been destroying a regular tree and that's why you can't make it scream? Obviously, all regular trees already scream. Look it up, it's science. Trees scream at a frequency that we can't hear. All trees scream. The problem is that this one tree isn't. That's how we know it's different, and that's how we know what we have to do. Tem, abusing my, pay mem my powers of paid membership to say hey. You abuse your membership powers all you want. That's what being a member is all about. We are monitoring everything. Also, I really have to finish the short on the drawing I made of you. Ah, oh, Ansan, that sounds very cute. I like to see that sometime. I don't know how to do that on YouTube very well, to like hunt down videos like that. There needs to be a better system. Nina Bunny, Dr. Sherman SCP-113 is out of containment. SCP-113 is a rock. It's not going anywhere unless other people take it. Who took it? Who took it? 
tell me who took it, and then make them put it back. Inky, I love your videos. Well, oh, thank you so much. We're doing our best to make entertaining content here, both for content's own sake, and also we can build our community to make bigger SCP projects, including series, films, and games. Right now, we are in the process of supporting other creators with our larger platform while we work our way to having the resources to make our own stuff. Is the outsider from Dishonored an SCP? Well, the thing you gotta answer is, is it anomalous? If it's anomalous, then it could be an SCP. But technically, to be an SCP, it has to be on the SCP wiki because that means that it's been cataloged by the Foundation. So if it's not on the SCP wiki, it can be anomalous, but it's not an SCP. So the outsider, definitely anomalous. I mean, we have many eldritch outsider beings of their own, but not an SCP because it's not on the wiki. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Back to the bottom of the chat now. While I'm scrolling, you Foundation staff members want to hit that like button because we are 80 likes away from surpassing the viewers count. Make it happen. Jake, you're my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you very much. Happy to provide entertainment to the people. Outlaw Josie, do you have any information on Josie the Half Cat? Well, of course, you've got to look at Josie's documentation on the wiki, as well as I mentioned a little earlier, we have an upcoming Josie the Half Cat game coming out by from Afray Interactive, who I'm currently with at GDC. So keep an eye out for that. I'll give you more information as it gets closer to release. Aye, aye, Chief. You make me want to do more vids and you really inspire me. Well, thank you, and I'm glad to hear it, Ansan. I think that art should be the domain of every person who wants to make it. So the more we inspire people to make art, the better the world is. Whether it's drawn art, filmed art, gamed art, any kind of art. Art is awesome. Scrolling to the bottom of the chat. Jump. Hey, Dr. Sherman, who would win in a fight, SCP-173 or Hulk? So I've got to go with Hulk because, I mean, the Hulk smashes buildings constantly. And if it can smash a building, usually made out of steel and concrete, then it's not going to be having a problem with a statue that's made of concrete and rebar. So I think that we would not have that fight happen because we do not want to destroy the statue in case we want to do further testing. So we will not approve that cross test. No matter how many pay-per-views it would sell. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Opinion on SCP-8000. I haven't heard it yet, but I, I hear it's pretty good. It got enough upvotes to win the 8000 contest. I hear it's pretty lighthearted and nice too, which I always appreciate. It's sometimes a nice palate cleanser to all of the spooky and evil SCPs all the time to get something nice and friendly or something like that. I don't know, I'll have to check it out when I have some downtime that I don't use by talking to you guys instead. How does SCP-173 move? That is a fabulous question that we do not have the answer to, unfortunately. It would be very nice if we could understand how that statue has locomotion to it, but unfortunately our testing have not revealed that yet. Although I could go deeper in the archives of the tales and see if someone explains it in some way. 
but I haven't yet, so I don't know the answer to your question. Dr. Sherman, please come back. You're the only person who doesn't break their bones every other day or every day for that matter. No one else is responsible at all. Dr. Finch from Medical. Dr. Finch, listen, I cannot hold this site together by myself. These people need to learn responsibility and if they learn it from their snap bones, then that is how they will learn it. Uh, crime and punishment, you know how it is. SCP-173 versus the Scarlet King, who would win? That is a ridiculous question. Obviously, we all know that SCP-173 would snap the Scarlet King's neck, just like it does every other entity, no problem. Kidding, kidding. Can I start an SCP fight club? Request denied. Absolutely denied. I don't care how much money you could get betting on it. Uh-uh. Dr. Davis, no pain, no gain. Exactly. And some of our foundation staff require a lot of pain to learn their lesson. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that chat there scrolling. Lorena, thank you for subscribing to Site 42. Welcome to the Site 42 staff. Shaded Turtle, I do not know what a Muzan Kibitsuji is, so I do not know how it would be contained by us. And unfortunately, I don't have access to my tablet right now, so I can't look it up in the background. Why is YouTube live like TikTok live now? Well, Charlie, on pause, it's because, uh, like every other company, YouTube is trying to beat TikTok at its own game. And so, especially when you are a creator who is more focused on shorts, as Site42 is, uh, I mean, we have 3 million subscribers on TikTok, and we're just about to hit 1 million in a couple months here. So, we're following the formula that YouTube has set for us. Mia, how many SCPs are there? Well, it's hard to say. On the SCP Wiki, we just opened up the 8,000 slots. So 8,000 through 8999 are currently being filled. And so you would assume that that means somewhere between 8 and 9,000. But between articles that get deleted from the previous set or all of the other language branches uh, who have their own wikis with however many SCPs they have, I don't know. That is a lot of SCPs. I could not tell you. If someone wants to go to each wiki, see what they're approximately at, and do a ballpark estimate, then uh, you can leave that in the chat. But that would be a lot of work, and I don't think I'll be here long enough for you to do the math. K and J, subscribe. Congratulations for joining the Site42 staff. And I remind you, staff, we are currently at 158 likes and 216 viewers. Smash that like button so we can secure and contain and protect that larger like count to viewer count ratio. I believe in you, staff. We're professionals. This is what we do. Tem, hey, Dr. Sherman, don't you think it's a little risky talking to us in public? I mean, someone could be watching you at this very moment and you wouldn't know. No, no, you see, this is, this is just fine. I've got a bird's eye view of the area and all of these game developers, they are unsuspectingly being watched by me, not the other way around. They all just think that I'm some guy on a phone. They might look at me funny, but they don't know what's going on. They can't hear. And so, no, I'm not worried about that. My OPSEC is brilliant at all times, infallible, unflappable, we secure, contain, and protect like professionals here.
Dr. Davis, fairly sure Sherman's an SCP. He doesn't seem to age. No comment. Dr. Sherman, we could put a speaker in the tree to make it scream. No, that's just putting a speaker in it that would make a screaming noise. That's not the same thing. Come on. I'm sorry, is that a Cthulhu? Uh, containment Team Alpha 9, I'm gonna need you to get that Cthulhu, please. Uh, that should not be out and about. Needs to be contained. So, do me a solid here. Dexter, where is the Billie Eilish abomination? That wonderful creature we created, that wonderful creature, is in containment block C. Don't you worry about it, it's doing fine. It's well taken care of. We did excellent science. SDL, I'm still trapped in SCP-3008. Well, that's what you get for not listening when I told you not to go in there. I specifically said, do not go in there. Woo! And you did it anyways. So, you know, this is really your fault at the end of the day. Oop. I find it weird that you scream about the tree less and less. My ears don't hurt, so thanks, but still weird. Oh, uh, trust me, Psych and has been trying to get me to do therapy and anger management over the whole thing. I have been trying to... I haven't been helped at all by this, by the way. But I have learned to hide the rage better and to do my screaming where it is not being recorded for the entire Foundation to see. Dr. Sherman, I think my winter coat is anomalous. The pockets don't end. No, that's standard issue for hammer space bomber jackets. Uh, it's standard issue foundation tech. We don't give it to everyone, but if they want it, they can request it. Hammer space is a very useful tool in foundation containment procedures. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that chat down, scrolling. Dr. Anne. So, um, Sherman, can you like not splice Billy's DNA again? She seems to have, um, gone insane. Oh, well, I mean, number one, that's not my problem. That's, uh, outside. That's, now that the science is done, it's for someone else to clean up the mess. But B, no, we've already finished that experiment. We don't have to do it again. I've already got another subject in mind. <laughs> Is there a shapeshifter SCP? There are a lot of shapeshifter SCPs. The first one that comes to mind is the Kumiho. Uh, not a Kitsune, uh, or is it a Kitsune? Is it a, is it a Kitsune or a Kumiho? I thought it was a Kumiho. Don't remember. Point is, uh, that's just one of many shapeshifting SCPs that we have in containment. I believe that one of the tags on the wiki is shapeshifting or something like that. So you can look that up and see how many there are for yourself. Explore the wiki, have fun. Taking a quick check over at the Super Chats. Got to remember not to ignore the donos. Doc, there's a paper that is alive and name is Circle. Well, 
Craig Menor, thank you for your first donor of the Site 42 coffers. Make sure to grab yourself some crepes over at the commissary. And Living Paper, name is Circle. Hmm. Well, make sure to get it in a box. Uh, it sounds like a living piece of paper would not be that great. It's contained uh, breaching containment. So I would assume that it's probably a safe class anomaly. And uh, interview it and see what you can find out. What do you know about SCP-4059? Is 4059 your friendly neighborhood cater? Is that who that is? I don't remember right now. I think it's 4051. I don't know that I know 4059, and unfortunately I can't look up SCPs by number right now. So keep that in mind, because I can't check it out. If you want to talk to me about an SCP, and you think I might not know it, type more than just the number, because we have so many, I can't remember them all. And son. Transcription staff says, thank you for that, Dr. Jen. Jay here, stuck in the infinite Ikea, womp womp. Welp, oops and oops again. Mitchie, Dr. Sherman SCP-049 is in this chat. Oh, I know, it's claiming that it took over Site-42 while I'm away, and I don't believe it for a second. I think it's bluffing. But also, thank you for your advice last time. I now have an account, so I am writing the SCP. Good luck writing your SCP, and as I probably said before, but I must emphasize again, make sure that you're taking care to follow the rules, to get critique, to do a couple of rewrites, make sure to clean it up. It's as clean as possible before you post it. Show it to other people to get critique is actually very important because if they don't like it, then probably the whole wiki won't like it. Make sure to show it to people who have written for the wiki before. That's actually a really good tip. If you go into the SCP Discord, then you can find their critique channel and it's manned by SCP authors because they'll have better advice for how to clean up an SCP than someone who hasn't written one before. What would happen if you sculpted SCP-096? Well, as it's known, SCP-096 does not activate for artistic renderings. So paintings, drawings, sketches, I assume sculptures, don't count. It has to be a picture, or a film, or of course its actual face. Jake, happy birthday. Is Toothless an SCP? Well, it is a dragon, and at least in my baseline reality, dragons are not normal. They are anomalous. Now, of course, as always, it's anomalous, but since it's not on the SCP wiki, not an SCP. Dr. Lamau, have you tried using fire on SCP-4521? It's a tree. Of course, that's the first thing we tried. Well, not first, more like 31st. We tried a lot of things first. In fact, we tried a lot of things first simultaneously. So I guess there are multiple firsts in that case. Scrolling down to the bottom again. What is the kindest SCP? We rarely get that as a question. Hmm, kindest. Probably the patch bear, the patchwork bear that does the nice little, uh, makes you healing organs out of yarn. Probably that's one of them. Um, I think that, I think that would be my answer. At least off the top of my head at this moment. How do you pronounce Keter? So here's the deal. Keter, is a okay pronunciation. Keter like better. The problem is that, first of all, meter rhyming, Keter is right out. Keter is not how you say that word. If you say it that way, you are the wrongest possible version of wrong. Now, Keter is still wrong, but the problem is uh, it's an actual word. It is a Hebrew word, and it's meant to be the top or crown of the holy something or other. I forget the exact uh, definition right now. But the point is, that's why it's the highest class of anomalous classification for containment, at least until Apollyon came around. But the problem is, I don't speak Hebrew, and a friend of mine who does, every time I try to say Keter, 
he says I'm not saying it right. Kater. It's something like that. But I don't have the right tongue jujitsu to pronounce it correctly. So I stick with Keter like better. Husam, thank you for your third donut of the Site 42 coffers. Make sure to get yourself a hot dog on your way past the commissary. SCP-343 and 001 Gate Guardian versus SCP-5000. Interesting. So the problem here, the problem here is that the SCP-5000 entity is at least to our best knowledge, contained in the human nuosphere, which is like the psychic mind space of all humanity. So the question is, number one, can both the Gate Guardian and 343 enter the human nuosphere? I don't know if they would have to ascend to that plane or descend to that plane or transmute into that plane. I'm not sure how that part works. But what I do know is that the way they would have to defeat 5,000 if they can't is to kill all humans. And so that's probably what they're going to do, just like they did in SCP-5000. Speaking of SCP-5000, sponsored moment, don't forget that I'm here at GDC looking out over all these fine, fine game developers because I am here visiting with Afray Interactive, creators of the game SCP-5K. Check it out on Steam. How do I submit an SCP on the SCP Wiki? Well, you have to become a member of Wikidot, and then you have to become a member of the SCP Wiki on Wikidot. Then you have to follow all of the rules for writing. Now, best case scenario, just go to the sidebar of the SCP Wiki where it says become a member or how to join or something like that, and look at all the rules, look at all the procedures. It's all right there. And by the way, Site42 staff, you have done it. We have 187 likes and 183 viewers. We have beaten the viewer count with the like count. Oh, so close, and it just jumped up to 208. So I think we're gonna have to smash that like button and catch up with it. We were snatched from our victory, but we can bring it back. I believe in you, Site42 staff. Praise the toast. Oh no, bread is green, is infected with SCP-3305, bread Jesus. Um, okay, let's get him some amnestics quick. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You outside of the SCP place? I am not outside of the SCP place. I am in beautiful San Francisco, observing the Game Developers Conference. Thousands of wonderful game developers are here, sharing stories and technology and making the future of video gaming, which I think is pretty neat. I think I saw a super chat. There we are. Dioc City. Thank you, Dioxity Dev. Thank you for your first donut of the Site 42 coffers. Make sure to grab yourself some Cadbury cream eggs on your way past the commissary. How many D class loss making trees scream? Oh, oh, come on. I didn't use that many. Just because I can't count how many does not mean I used that many. Come on, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's all in the name of science. All in the name of science. You once claimed all women are SCPs. You can't go revealing our secrets like that. Listen, it, was, it wasn't public. It was just to all Foundation staff members, like you find Foundation staff members. Remember, remember, we are not broadcasting live to the public. If you're on this channel, it's because A, you're an SCP Foundation staff member. Of course, that's why you have access to this classified channel. B, because you're an SCP who has a phone because you're on very good behavior. So thank you and keep up the good work or you're gonna lose privileges. Three, because we've decided that you should be privy to foundation data even if you're not in the foundation because we think you'll be recruited very soon. Maybe you already know of the anomalous because you're with a different faction like the GOC or the UIU. Maybe you're a civilian with surprising knowledge of the anomalous or you're the best of the best of the best in your field. Either way, if you're not with a foundation, you will be sued. 
What would happen if we exploded SCP-4521? Then we would not be able to test it anymore. That's a terrible idea. What is SCP-420-J made of? <laughs> oh, oh, it's made of the best stuff. It's just the best. Please contain the 2662 cult neighboring at the house of mine. They've gotten quite loud with their hmm, activities. Oh, Dr. Doss, thank you for reporting this. 2662 has been alerting us that there has been increased cultic activity regarding its uh, situation. <sighs> that poor Cthulhu really needs a break. We'll go ahead and get that cleaned up. Junior Researcher Fair here. Can you further explain what bread Jesus is? Well, I don't know much about it off the top of my head. I do remember reading the SCP-3305 document a long time ago. I highly suggest you go there for your data, but it is a living bread person. I know that it can be summoned through a ritual that involves, but not, is not limited to hammering a piece of bread, maybe toast, into a tree uh, with a nail, because, you know, Jesus stuff. So that's all I seem to remember off the top of my head. I know we interviewed it, but check out the Bread Jesus documentation. That'll give you all the intel you need. Scrolling. Charger, Dr. Sherman, I see you were at GDC 2024. Any anomalies at GDC? So, we did just have a Cthulhu walk by. That was rather surprising. Uh, it wasn't even 2662. It was a different Cthulhu. Think of that. But containment is on it, so they're handling that situation. Uh, we will be deploying aerialized amnestics soon, so I'll probably have to get out of here. But I need to hold down the scene until that happens. So still here for a little bit longer. Uh ho Binge Atypical, thank you for your first dono to the Site42 coffers. Make sure to grab yourself a bran muffin on your way past the commissary. Question, how would the Foundation handle a non-dangerous anomalous humanoid who suddenly teleported in the halls of one of the sites? And how do I get them to let me leave? So first of all, uh, we have two articles that we could talk about this with. Article 1 is, I believe it's 427 or 407? Either way, it's titled The Reluctant Dimension Hopper. And The Reluctant Dimension Hopper is an SCP, an official one, that just randomly teleports. Never knows where it's gonna go. It could end up in different dimensions, and therefore, uh, we can't really contain it, but we keep a tracker and recording software on it so that we see where it goes, and then take care of it and nurse it back to health if it arrives with damage back in our dimension. So it's not great, but we do our best because teleporters are a real monster to contain. The other thing it reminds me of is SCP-008-J, titled Jeff, one of my favorite SCPs. Spoilers for the end of stream when I always announce my favorite SCPs. But Jeff is a nice, normal dude from New Zealand who seemingly has the most extreme luck, but only when it comes to accidentally breaking into SCP Foundation science and then also accidentally escaping our efforts to contain it. We don't even know if Jeff is anomalous, except for the fact that the ways it gets in and out of our sites are all too highly coincidental to actually believe. So I think Jeff's probably anomalous, but we don't have proof yet. We have to catch Jeff first. And it all starts by becoming his Facebook friend so that we can lull, lull him into a false sense of security. So yes, between that, binge atypical i believe that you will soon be in your own box and please enjoy that box we'll make it very comfortable for you and we'll try and take care of your strange teleporting powers rolling down rolling down the scroll Oop. Hey, Dr. Sherman, I know this is a bad time, but I need mobile task force support right now. I'm captured by the Chaos Insurgents. Also, I'm a new guy at Site 42. Uh, of course, the new guy gets captured. Obviously, we have better training than that, but you missed the workshop, I'm sure. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Security staff is on their way. Ansan, Steve said something bad about SCP-111 and SCP-999. Permission to murderer him. Moretter. Moretter? Well, Dr. Jen, I don't know what murettering is, but I suggest as long as we can recoup the damages, then go nuts. Charger. I believe Jeff is speedrunning Finding Foundation weaknesses. Willingly, or do you think it's accidental? That's, that's a problem. Also, Charger, just for technicality, uh, for being clear, it's G-E-O-F-F, -F, Jeff. Mars Under the Stars, thank you for your first dono to the Site 42 coffers. Dr. Sherman, I made the tree scream, Dr. Mai. Well, while you grab yourself a Mars Bars for the commissary, you can also grab yourself a demerit for lying to a Foundation senior officer because obviously you didn't make the tree scream. If it did, we would know about it. And if it's in another dimension, I don't care. It's not my 4521. Building block, thank you for your dono. Make sure to grab yourself a banana split on your way past the commissary. You said there's no canon. Does that mean everything regarding lore you've said in these videos are more like suggestions rather than actual rules? Very good question. So there is no canon is a pretty weird concept on the foundation because everything is canon, but nothing is canon. The way I like to think of it is that, so in the case of the wiki, there's lots of contradictory stories and you're allowed to pick your head canon for which one you like and which one you don't and make that your canon. So on the wiki, everything's canon and you pick the ones you like. When it comes to me, I usually stick to foundation wiki canon or expand upon it in ways. And so you gotta take the stuff that I say that is canon as canon and the stuff that are expansions that I'm making up on the fly as you know, off-site expansions, not necessarily canon. In the same token, uh, one could believe that everything I say on my channel and talk about is the Site 42 version of the SCP canon. And because you're all following me and paying attention to what I say, that means that there's both the SCP wiki canon and also the Site 42 canon. I know, and this is a tangent, but I gotta mention it a couple times because I'm here. I'm currently at GDC, the Game Developer Conference 2024 in San Francisco, specifically because I'm working with Afray Interactive on their own SCP 5K game based on SCP 5000, as well as the Josie the Half Cat game. So they're working on two SCP games right now, to my knowledge. But with that in mind, I know that they have plans to deviate from lore and to do their own thing because you don't want every. Uh, everything to be perfectly canon. Sometimes you want to do your own thing as an artist. And so I know that there will be an Afray canon, so to speak, as well as a Site 42 canon. Uh, every creator basically has their own mini canon when it comes to this. Dr. Blue has a canon. SCP Wyatt has a canon, even though I disagree with most of his shower thoughts. But, well, I don't know if I disagree with most. No, I disagree with most. Anyway, excellent question. Thank you, Building Block. Charger, where are you? Oh, sorry, I find it easier with the J version. Well, it is one letter less, and so that does make it easier to spell. But, you know, we respect people's names and such. Uh, that's just being a good researcher. It keeps the database clean, too. O five one. Hello, Dr. Sherman, checking in, seeing how it's going. It's going great over here at GDC. I'm only getting mild, strange looks for talking to you all. But, you know, it's 2024. People talk to their phones all the time. It's not weird. It's not weird. Don't say it's weird. It's not weird at all. But I've been having a very good time. I've connected to a lot of very interesting people at multiple game studios with multiple roles. And as the Site42 head researcher and site director, my job is here to mingle, make friends, take names, and see who we can get into the SCP game space so we can have more SCP games more quickly. Scrolling to the bottom, all the way down. Unicorn Girl 2274, social skills are scary. Well, thank you for being a member and joining today's stream. And yes, uh, in every party, there needs to be a bard to handle the social interactions so that the non-social characters don't have to. Every 
class has its own skills and benefits that it brings to the party. So you gotta make sure you have your talkers, you gotta make sure you have your punchers, you gotta make sure you have your wizards and warlocks and all that business. Diversify your team for success. Ansan, okay, so why is there cat ears and maid outfits in your office? Is it for you or for the plague doctor? Dr. Jen, number one, you know that I don't wear cat ears. However, I had cat ears during my tour in the cat boy dimension when I was stationed there for a while. I didn't like it. But those weren't cat ears that you could take on and off. That was just a transmogrification that I had to go through to fit in an incognito in the cat boy dimension. <sighs> Bad times. But no, that is for specifically punishing SCP-049 by banishing it to the cat made waifu dimension. Or if there is not a portal nearby, making it wear the cat ears and maid outfits. Close enough. Scrolling back down the chat again. Charger. I wish I could head to GDC, but I gotta test the Crooked Man. Plus, UK doesn't get any good conventions. Well, yes. If you submit your documentation in triplicates far enough in advance, we might be able to squeeze you into next year's convention, but uh, don't get your hopes up because, God, we'd have to get a flight from the UK. Ugh. Just kidding, obviously. Unicorn Girl, the tree is not screened yet. We're still working on it. Jaybird, Dr. Sherman, do you mind telling me why the hell one of your coffee mugs is on my desk? I locked my office doors three hours ago. Very few have access to my office. Answer me. Well, I had to make sure that you weren't doing that on your computer again. Obviously, it's a security risk. So maybe next time, don't get caught doing things you're not supposed to. Then I won't have to search your office for more infractions. Leuna, thank you for your dono. Make sure to grab yourself some unleavened bread on your way past the commissary. You've inspired me to try and write an SCP. That's awesome. The more the merrier. The more voices we have, the more stories of kinds of stories we get. That's awesome. Good luck, work hard, do good writing, and I hope it works out for you. Charger, still gotta set up my office in Site 42. How long is it gonna take you to set your office up? It's just a desk and some knickknacks. Now I know that you have those strange knickknacks of untold power that are denser than a neutron star and very hard to move, and we're, we're getting you the apparatus to set that up. Don't worry. Mitchy, I have played as 049 and 035 in online games. My friend now has a fear of play doc plague doctors. Haha, <laughs> got him. Quick question, how are you, buddy? Truly, I hope you're doing well. Oh, well, thank you, that's very thoughtful. I'm doing fantastic. I'm having a great weekend. Uh, a weekend in the middle of the week. At my day job, my cover job, it was Friday, Saturday, Sundays. So I, look, my weekend is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But there's been a wonderful weekend at GDC. I've been here for a couple days. I've seen some interesting things, met a bunch of interesting people, got into some parties I didn't expect to get into. Uh, Hey. Are there multiple SCPs similar to pets? Pets being a cat like Josie. Oh, there are a lot of animal SCPs that fit the pet-like animal classifications. Of course, there's so many, and I don't know every article on the wiki, so it's something you gotta search for. Maybe Google SCP dog or SCP cat, or SCP fish, or SCP parrot. I don't know what pet you got. Either way, have fun out there. Check it out. Thanks Sherman for the help. I'm with the Mobile Task Force squad in a helicopter, but now it's time for me to return the favor. There is five confirmed chaos insurgents at the GDC. 
I will investigate that and make sure that they are not a problem. Thank you for the tip. Also, I have a friend behind me making sure that I'm not misbehaving. Cool. Everything all right? When you finish talking, you, you have to take off, okay? Okay, I can head off. Because it's not supposed to be up here. I see. But you can, you can finish talking, though. Well, I won't be rude. You can finish your conversation, okay? Well, it's a live stream, so uh, there's a bunch of people, but they understand that I have to go because I'm in no, a place no, I'm not no, supposed stay. to be. <laughs> stay, go finish. I'll stick around. No, finish your stream, okay? You got it, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you guys go in just a minute. But before we do, uh, I guess this balcony is not for me. Although I did get away with it for an hour. So welcome to the foundation getting in places we aren't supposed to be. So as always, at the end of my stream, we talk my favorite SCPs. So write them down real quick and let's get out of here on the double. So 3999-3043-008-J, Spooky-J, 5031. 5175 and 5320. I'll say them one more time. 3999-3043-008-J, Spooky-J. 5175, 5031, and 5320. This is all from Dr. Sherman's live check-in at GDC. I hope you guys check out Afre Interactive for their SCP-5K and Josie game, and check out what the da, 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 da. Check out There Is No anti memetics Division releasing on the YouTube channel Andrea Joshua Aznikar next Friday and reactions to it here on Site 42 on the Saturday after. Four episodes coming up uh, and Unicorn Girl, you don't have to memorize them. They're here in the video. You can check any time. But anyways, it's been Dr. Theron Sherman getting in trouble as you might be, but everything's fine and I'll see you guys in the next chat. I love you, baby, and if it's quite all right, I love you, baby. In the boring night, I need you, baby. Trust in me when I say, oh, pretty baby, don't let me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I've found you, stay and let me love you, baby. Let me love you.